Welcome. In this video, we're going to tour the BISC interface and show you around a little bit. In particular, we're going to look at the five main screens that you will be using for trading. The first one is a market screen, the one you're looking at right now. It's mostly informational. It shows you various metrics for market activity that we'll take a look at in a second. This chart that you're looking at is a called a depth chart. You can look it up. It's not terribly important for most people, so we're going to skip it and head to the details tab. Here is a real time, you can see the number updating here as we speak. It's a real time bird's eye view of the whole BISC network. So how many offers are live in each market? How many of those offers are buy offers, sell offers, so bids, asks, as well as other information here on the right. On the trades tab, is more of a historical perspective. So in this case, we have the USD market selected. If you look toward the bottom at this table, you can see the trades that were, uh, that were done recently, the price equivalent of each trade, the size of each trade, so both in Bitcoin and in USD, as well as the payment method that was used to settle each trade. So this can be a helpful resource if you're looking to make your own offer, which I hope you do. You can see what's made recent trades successful and use that to make your own offers more attractive. All right, now let's move on to the next two screens, the buy BTC and sell BTC screens. This is where you'll probably spend the majority of your time on BISC. It's where the action happens, where you can actually uh, take offers to buy or sell Bitcoin or make your own offers to buy or sell Bitcoin. I want to note that the listings that you see here are not hosted on any kind of central server. BISC is a peer-to-peer -peer network, and so each offer is actually hosted by the peer who created it. You can actually see if you hover your mouse button over the seller's avatar, you can see the offer maker's onion address. When you see an offer you like, you simply click the take offer button and the program will tell you how to complete the trade. If your offer take offer buttons are grayed out, that means you need to create a payment account. We'll show you how to do that in a separate video and put the link in the description. If you want to make your own offer to buy, you can click this button up here at the top. The sell screen is the same as the buy screen, just with sell offers instead of buy offers. You have the offer listing here on, on the bottom and then up here at the top, you can create your own offer to sell. Next is the portfolio screen. The screen is pretty straightforward. If you have any open offers here, they'll be listed and you can adjust them. If you want to change their pricing or activate or deactivate them, you would do that here. Open trades is open trades. You can check the status of any trades you have going on. And history, also history. Check the history of any trades you've made in the past. The next and last screen that we're going to go over is the funds screen. This is where you can work with the with BISC's built-in Bitcoin wallet. You don't have to use it. You can simply send any Bitcoin you need for a trade from an external wallet. But keeping a little bit of money in here can be convenient, so we figured it worth showing it to you. Note that this is not a custodial wallet that's hosted somewhere else. Like everything in BISC, you're in full control of it. So please make sure you've written down your seed phrase and backed up your data directory. We've made a separate video on this, which I'll put in the description to this video. Otherwise, this wallet works like a Bitcoin wallet. If you want to send funds to the wallet, you can send it to this address shown here on the bottom of the Receive Funds tab. If you want to withdraw funds in the wallet, you can go to the Send Funds tab and fill in your address, destination address and withdraw. The one thing I want to note, since a lot of people ask for it, is if you want to set the fee for this transaction, this, this uh, withdrawal transaction, you can do that in the settings screen. Over here on the left, if you toggle this use custom value for transaction fee, you can pick a fee that you find better and your uh, withdrawal transaction will use that fee instead. So that was an overview of the main screens that you will be using when trading on BISC. I encourage you to check out the other videos in the series, all of which aim to make using BISC as simple as possible. 
and we'll see you on the network.